जी जी ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम पॉइंट नंबर ऑफ द ग्रामर फ्रॉम द रेन एंड मार्टिन बुक ऑफ ग्रामर हरी ब्रोक द विंडो दिस हेयर द द ऑब्जेक्ट इज focused on the window was broken and here the subject is has uh, the object has taken the place of subject and is focused on it will be seen that nouns in english have the same form for the nominative and accusative the nominative generally comes before the verb and the accusative after the verb hence they are distinguished by the order of words or by the tense so here it says that the nominative generally the thing which we nominate which we focus on in the first place is the object window hari broke the window here window works as object in the uh, second sentence the window was broken here the subject shifts to the place of the the object shifts to the place of the subject okay so here the nominative generally comes before the verb so it came before the verb okay and the accusative after the verb hence they are distinguished by the order so uh, we can distinguish nominative and uh, accusative by the order of their placement whether it comes before the verb or after the verb okay the point number uh, 52 is the comparison to compare rama gave a ball rama gave hari a ball okay so here hari was missing in the first sentence so it means the object was here the object was here indirectly called like ball was indirectly called uh, or uh, given uh, the action on action upon okay then is rama gave hari a ball so here hari is added and the object is directly referring to whom it was given so in each of these sentences the noun ball object of gave okay in each of these sentences the noun ball is the object of in this sentence we are told that hari was the person to him to whom rama gave the ball okay the noun hari is called the indirect object of the verb noun ball the ordinary object is called the direct object it we notice that the indirect of immediately after the verb and before the object okay so you have that the position of the object is immediately after and direct which is the direct object there is the ball is here the direct object okay note rama gave a ball rama gave a ball to me. will you do me a favor will you do a favor to me for rama a ball i bought ball for rama fetch away a book fetch a book for boy miss it ruth a new dress she to dress Ruth, get me seal. Text the the position of direct object when it is changed as before and after the verb. The direct object verb here is in tenses. Note this. See that the direct object of a verb denotes the person to whom something is given. So here, in direct object, 
we see that the indirect object of a verb denotes the person to whom something is given or for whom something is done okay this is uh, due to the position of the uh, indirect object okay let's uh, move towards the next page okay this is point number 53 so examining the sentence examine the sentence how this is rama's umbrella this is rama's umbrella rama's umbrella the umbrella belongs to rama apostrophe s tells us that something belongs to someone so this is used for uh, the possession of apostrophe is used the uh, as the possession of rama's uh, and the possession is the yeah, umbrella okay uh, Ram, rama's umbrella the umbrella belongs to rama from the noun uh, from uh, the form of the noun rama is changed to rama's to show ownership of possession the the noun rama is changed to show the ownership or possession the noun brahmas is therefore said to be the possessive or genitive case the possessive answers the question whose so here when we ask whose umbrella is this the answer is um, rama's umbrella the umbre this umbrella is rama's or this is rama's umbrella so uh, here the possession of umbrella belongs to rama okay the possessive case does not always denote possession it is used to denote authorship origin kind etc so it is not necessary that we when use apostrophe apostrophe the sense of possession but we can also we also denote the authorship origin or kind of any uh, object any thing or any person so here shakespeare's play shakespeare's play so the play belongs to shakespeare the play is written by shakespeare okay a mother's love the love felt by a mother the president's speech the speech delivered by the president mr agarwal's house the house where mr agarwal lives ashok's school the school where ashok goes a children's playground a playground for children a week's holiday a holiday which lasts a week so here the possessive has also introduced to something else authorship origin kind etc formation of the possessive case number 55 okay when the noun is singular so this is the formation of the possessive in a uh, possessive case where it is formed number 1 when the noun is singular the possessive case is formed by adding s to the noun as directly s to the noun as the boy's book the king's crown when it is singular okay note that the letter s is omitted in a few words where too many hissing sounds would come together sounds like snake sound okay the boy's book i'm uh, referring to the uh, these examples the boy's book the king's crown now see for consensus snake 
for goodness say sorry sake and for goodness sake for justice sake for jesus sake for moses laws okay so uh, ma'am here the, excuse the, me, the sounds which are excuse jesus uh, uh, ma'am uh, what is the meaning mean by uh, hissing sounds there's something confused the hissing sounds like i have uh, i have uh, may, you may not have uh, i think listened it or uh, listen to it carefully the sound okay like the sound of the uh, it's like a, uh, as uh, um, like a snake that yes. hisses or or sometimes a cat hisses at someone or when uh, the cat is angry so it creates a hissing sound a sound from your uh, it comes from the uh, esophagus uh, directly and uh, it goes to your lips and between the teeth so this is sound let okay, uh, sorry the you. tongue touching the teeth okay the tongue touching the teeth okay so the point is when the noun is plural now it's about the case of plural and ends in s the possessive case is formed by adding only an apostrophe, apostrophe as the boys school so the apostrophe has it has uh, they have put apostrophe after s boy has the plural boys so the apostrophe for possession comes after s so when we are referring to more than one boy and when we are referring to the plural so we put apostrophe after s there is no need of putting separate plural in the plural case boys school girls school horses tail okay okay ma'am uh, ma'am but does not ma'am at me at me in that uh, if uh, uh, we are talking about boy then uh, we can put uh, apostrophe uh, between boy and s and if it's uh, plural yes, so so s. so we can we can put it in the end of s yes after putting s after uh, making the singular noun plural okay, okay then no, apostrophe will be correct okay when the noun is plural but s the this by apostrophe s listen in some cases we change the spelling of a noun by uh, a spelling a spelling of noun when we make uh, we have studied it uh, or we have discussed it in the previous classes for example man is turned into men by putting e replacing a so it has become plural okay so men's club here no s is used to make the men it is not men's so it is men so apostrophe s is is added for the possession children's book so it is not child so a uh, child is the singular and children is the plural so here s is not added automatically because child is turned into uh, children by making plural so here apostrophe s is used uh, ma'am ma excuse me ma'am ma'am ma if uh, if uh, we uh, put a child instead of ch children so uh, the, the the case will be same according to rules because the case will be same of course yes 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 yes, yes. It, the case will be same same uh, is the case because that is plural so that is singular okay, okay, fine okay. child so we put apostrophe s and man we put apostrophe s directly yes okay thank you wait a minute time when a noun or a title consists of several words the possessive sign is attached only to the last word as 
the king of bhutan's visit the king of bhutan's visit the prime minister of mauritius speech so here when a noun or a title consists of several words the possessive sign is attached only to the last words as like bhutan bhutan so here bhutan uh, uh, here the king uh, like the apostrophe is not used with the king but with bhutan because here we are referring to the possession of bhutan like the king is one sort of possession of bhutan fine the prime minister of mauritius so here is uh, mauritius prime minister is focused on and we are giving possession or we are referring to the prime minister of mauritius so so we have put apostrophe here okay so when two nouns are in when two nouns are in a position the possessive sign is put to the letter only as that is a uh, tagore the poet house here that is a tagore tagore a po the poet house so here they say that tagore must be some poet so it says that uh, it is giving the reference of tagore that it is his house okay look okay also when two nouns are used closely connected the possessive is put to the letter as kareem and salim's bakery williams and mary's region okay so here we can say that kareem and salim they are they may be the uh, two uh, brothers so here kareem and salim's bakery it 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 is not saying that kareem and salim's bakery it says kareem and salim's bakery the, the apostrophe is is uh, put on the later one okay so williams and mary's region rain okay sorry williams and mary the, the time period or the uh, uh, era of uh, Uh, William and Mary. So the letter one is uh, has been given the S apostrophe S uh, possession. Each of the two or more connected nouns implying separate possessions must take the possessive si sign as Raja Rao's and R K Narayan's novels. so raja rao's and r k narayan's novel so we are giving the se separate possessions but we are talking about the similar thing okay so we are talking about novels but the novels are separate of raja rao and r k narayan here uh, there is one ex other example goldsmith and copper's poem the poems of the uh, goldsmith who is a poet and the uh, cowper who is also a poet so here they are referring to two different personalities but with the possession of the same thing like novels and poems yes ma'am uh, we can say that okay. in point in point number 58 uh, the uh, uh, issue or we can say that the thing should be one Yes, and, they and, are owned by they are owned by two people. One thing yes. is owned by two people. Two okay? people. Why then? Like fifty nine is one, but it is owned. Yes. 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 In case fifty nine, there are uh, separated uh, uh, things which are belonging to two different people. Yes, they are like in plural. The novels, fine. Yes. The poems, yes. they are in plural and are of different people. That's why they are. uh given separately apostrophes okay use of the possessive case point number 60 the possessive case is now used chiefly with the names of living things as the governor's bodyguard the lion's mane okay okay i have uh, uh, also uh, like uh, 
a year before I came across this thing that it says that now in the uh, new grammar rules because English is uh, always they they give it new grammar rules or they change the rules of uh, uh, in English language okay so uh, here in the new rules but we actually uh, don't focus on this um, because we are going with the same rules we do not uh, bother this thing whether the rules are uh, changed uh, or not excuse me please Okay, excuse me. Uh, sir, what will we be talking about? I think the page has uh, changed. Okay, is it, is it the continuation of the same page? The page has been Okay, use of possessive case. Okay, fine. So th that was the next page, okay? The use of the possessive case, the possessive case is now used chiefly with the names of living things as the governor's bodyguard, the lion's mane. So it says that we use this apostrophe as with the living things now in English, okay? But uh, not uh, like necessarily uh, we can say this because we uh, still use apostrophes with non living or, or also like uh, books page or, yes um, yes ma'am we can also like, use ma it ma for non living thing as well ma'am yes, it means we that uh, we, we, ma'am it means that we cannot use uh, apostrophe yes so with uh, non living things uh, just like uh, uh, here's yes, uh, the leg okay. of the table Yes, it says that now the rules are changed and uh, English grammar rules are changed and now they do not use apostrophes with the non-living things. Um, but I would say that we are still using it because we are we haven't got any sort of uh, uh, information or notification uh, for this while because the books which are uh, which we are teaching they may be uh, three years old or the the um, edition which we are teaching may be of 2016 or 15 or whatsoever so uh, the books which we teach are the same uh, so here the rules do not apply directly uh, but the students of the literature and the linguistics they have the knowledge of these updated things and they are updated uh, time to time by the authority okay so uh, ma'am no, no, no the rule yes. ma'am i say uh, the rule uh, has been applied uh, when i was uh, teaching uh, in the seventh class uh, when i was uh, teaching uh, to the seventh class uh, then uh, these rules have been uh, applied uh, that you are saying uh, uh, the okay. leg of the table, table oh. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, it uh, says sir, that uh, now. Sir, 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 uh, sorry, sorry to disturb. Uh, if we uh, say, uh, if we put it uh, on uh, accordingly, that uh, if we say that uh, the book as belong, yeah, the book belong to Ahmad. If if that this is a sentence, for example, so according to new rules, we can put it. Uh, uh, Ahmad with with Ahmad's not with books, but yes, according uh, Ahmad's book. Yes, yes, but according to the rules, uh, the old rules, we can say that the books as belong to Ahmad. No, sir. Exactly. No, sir. It, exactly. It, it would become incorrect, I think. Uh, uh ma'am, uh, books uh, uh, as uh, in point number fifty-seven and fifty-eight, we have discussed. We have discussed that if uh, okay, it's yes. plural or it's a singular, both have uh, same rules. And in same case, uh, we can treat it. Yes, when when the plural is uh, totally different, with the plural is not using s. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Then 
with the uh, continuation of study maybe we may get the new things in okay yes ma'am so we must say okay see so we must say the leg of the table not table's leg so here it it is clear okay leg of the table not the table's leg as we used to say table's leg the cover of the book not book's cover so uh, here is uh, uh, there is some um, proverb also don't judge the book by its cover is it like that yes ma'am yes okay. don't judge so, a book by its cover its cover it was, yeah so it it means that it was uh, previously also not used previously it was also uh, it was not used as uh, it okay the roof of the house not the houses roof houses roof so but the possessive is used with the names of personified objects as india's heroes nature's laws or human spirit okay a duty's call a death's door so uh, here are some things some uh, concepts which are the objects which are personified like india's heroes so india here india is given as uh, the possession of its heroes not the heroes are given uh, the possession look india's heroes nature's law क्वालिटी ऑफ लिविंग थिंग लाइक वी हैव लॉस Human have okay, laws. Okay, 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 ma'am. Okay, human okay. exercise laws. That is got. nature's laws. Okay, got the point okay. now. Okay, thank. Okay, point number sixty-two. The possessive is also used with nouns denoting time, space, or weight, as a day's march, a week's holiday, in a year's time, a stone's throw. a foot's length a pound's weight so here a day's march march all along a day a week's holiday holiday of a week and the time of the year and this the the, uh, the stone's throw like the throw of the stone this stone has been thrown okay foot length length like 1 ft One foot, a pound's weigh. Okay, weighing a pound. Okay, the point number sixty-three. The following phrases are also in common use. At his fingers' ends, or we can say, learn it on finger tips. The uh, mercy's sake, for his heart's content. At his wit. and a, a boat screw so fingers ends uh, these are the phrases fine for mercy's sake um, in urdu we say allah ke waste so this is it to his heart's content so so, so uh, someone's content of heart someone relief of heart at his bit and someone's uh, uh, limit of thinking it is like that okay, okay and the boats a uh, boats crew okay the possessive of a proper is point number 64 the possessive of a proper name or of a noun denoting a trade profession or relationship may be used to denote a building or place of business for example the thing like church house school college shop hospital theater Okay, let's see. The, uh, it says that the possessive of proper name or noun or proper noun denoting a trade or profession. 
okay so how the relationship shape is used by uh, making the apostrophe she has gone to the bakers so she has gone to the bakers it means that we are um, denoting the bake we are telling about the baker's shop okay so here the baker's shop or the baker the sh when it comes to the shop so it is the building okay and when it comes to the baker so it's a bake baker baking person uh, the profession of baking tonight i am dining at my uncle's so what it is telling about is telling about uncle's house so uncle's here uh, the uh, the uh, house is been um, like omitted and directly uncle is given possession it means that we are talking about the uncle's house you, can you tell me the way to st paul's so what is st paul's of course when it comes st so st paul's means st paul's so it means church i attend the town high school my cousin attends st xavier's okay so here this it it says that it is a school so i attended the town high school but my cousin attends the saint xavier's uh, mostly this st is used with the church so the uh, it may be some church school okay he was educated at saint joseph's so it is uh, uh, some educational institution which uh, it comes under the church okay excuse me okay so point. here is point number 65 65 yes ji sir when you are in doubt whether to use a noun in a possessive case or with the preposition of remember that as a general rule the possessive case is used to denote possession or ownership thus it is better to say the defeat of the enemy than the enemy's defeat so here the possession is uh, sorry it is like the defeat of an enemy than the enemy's defeat okay so here uh, we, we uh, i want to read it again when you are in doubt whether to use a noun in the possessive case or with the uh, to use a noun in the possessive case or with the preposition so what are used to uh, you, uh, used to say remember this thing as general rule the possessive case is used to denote the possession or ownership okay thus it is better to say that the defeat of an enemy then the enemy's defeat so it says that it is better to say the defeat of enemy by or uh, instead of putting apostrophe s with the enemy and uh, saying that it was the enemy's defeat even though no doubt as to the meaning would arise okay sometimes however a noun in the possessive case has a different meaning from a noun used with the preposition of as the prime minister's reception in delhi means a reception held by the prime minister in delhi okay the prime minister's reception in delhi means a reception held by the prime minister in delhi the reception of prime minister in delhi means the manner in which the people welcomed him when he entered delhi so here the ministers reception in delhi means that ministers uh, uh, was throwing a reception was giving the reception in delhi but in other case we can uh, assume that what can we assume it we can assume that the reception of prime uh, prime minister in delhi delhi which was given to him or when he entered the delhi and he was received so this is how the reception is different from the letter one the phrase the love of father either 
लव ऑफ हिज चाइल्ड और अ चाइल्ड लव फॉर हिज फादर सो हेयर इट गिव्स टू मीनिंग लाइक द लव ऑफ फादर फाइन सो वी हैव टू लाइक डिस्क्रिमिनेट इन इट वी हैव टू पुट हेयर अपोस्ट्रफी it is now become important how a father's love so it says that this is the love of a father okay or uh, to his of his child then we we can say the child's love for of his father this is the love of child for his father so here uh, we can differentiate between the these by putting apostrophe in the right to uh, a sense or the interpretation of the sense will be will be possible right thing okay ma'am i think it's enough for today okay. because time is uh, draining it's time is running out okay uh, ma'am thanks please